Well, welcome back. Last hour, we talked to teachers in an attempt to find out what they really want for Christmas. We found out most of them already have a couple dozen coffee mugs, an impressive collection of stuffed animals, and more apple-themed items than you can count. So what do they want? Yay, thank you, we love it. Thank you, this is the best gift ever. Oh, thank you, that's so sweet. Thank you, that's awesome. If this is the reaction that's you awesome. want, these are the gifts you should get your favorite teacher. It's gotta be gift cards. I mean, um, teachers love to eat, so. $5 Starbucks coffee it gets us through the day. Gift cards? I love gift cards. Um, you know, I can take my wife out <laughs> uh, somewhere, maybe the movies or, or you know, to dinner and, and my kids, so. So typically gift cards are, you know, or just get things from my classroom, Walmart and Target. It seems you can't go wrong with gift cards. But here's a unique idea. Well, my favorite gift, I got a recipe book from parents. So they actually put together all their favorite recipes and I still use it. It has great, you know, holiday things in there. I would love to get like a recipe for homemade, you know, something that their family loves to cook. Uh, that is part of their tradition, you know, over the holidays. In the end, teachers are sentimental and they love your kids. So the best gift of all may be just telling them how much you love them back. I personally prefer the letters that I get from parents and students. Those make my day. Just the appreciation, the thank you notes. I think the most genuine thing is student-made gifts. So making a card, spending time with your kiddo to make something, um, it, kind of something from the heart is always the best gift. Special gifts from kids uh, that are from the heart, notes, special notes from them. And that means a lot to me. It's the thought that counts and that's all that matters. Mm. All right, so you got it? Okay, <laughs> thoughtful, but I think coming through with the money is just better. Well, I think you could do a little combo where your kid writes yes. them a note and okay. tells them something very Put a gift sincere, card in there. And then you get a gift card. But here's what's interesting. So with the gift cards, the teachers were kind of half and half. Half of them said, we love a gift card because we spend so much of our own money on our classroom. Mm -hmm. And then the other half of them said, don't give me a gift card to Walmart because I'll just spend it on my classroom. I want something <laughs> I can use on my yes. So, you know, yeah, maybe Starbucks or something between, but I think a restaurant, you know, or a movie. Well, or, they have Visa. Right. gift cards. There's that yeah. too. Yeah. 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 So Something that means this is just for you for your splurge. But not a coffee, a, a, not a coffee mug. One teacher actually <laughs> said, you know, we each own 10 to 20 coffee mugs from the holidays. <laughs> what if you got us coffee to put in the coffee? There you hey. go. So back to coffee, that might be a good idea as well. Yeah. That's a great idea. <laughs> Full circle. <laughs> Thank you, Abel. That was a fun uh, story. <laughs> fun little series.